Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and today I have for you another Stitch Fix unboxing. Some of you are probably thinking to yourself, but Ashley, this seems a little early and you're right. So for those of you that are unfamiliar with Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix is a clothing styling subscription. And there are a couple of different ways that you can do the subscription. You can do it monthly, every other month, or I currently have mine set up on quarterly. However, they do also have what's called a quick fix, which is where you can order a box outside of your usual delivery schedule. And I thought, you know what? For my birthday, let's do a quick fix. So I have this one here for you and I'm very excited. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hoping for a dress. Maybe I've been kind of in this whole dress mood. I used to wear especially in the warmer months, I used to live in maxis. In fact, my brother's wife used to call me the queen of the maxis because it's all I would wear for a good four months out of the year. But I haven't really been wearing them a lot this year just because it's kind of hard carrying the girls around while I'm wearing a dress and sitting on the floor and playing with them and everything. So I haven't really worn many, but I've been feeling the pull for them. So here we have... Ooh, we have an accessory of some sort. I haven't gotten an accessory in a very, very, very long time. So I see some yellow. I'm very excited for that. We have some sort of, I'm guessing loungewear pants. Interesting. So let's go ahead and pop this baby open. And immediately, I like what I see on top. So, ooh, well, I don't know if I like the neckline, but I like the pattern. <laughs> So this is a shirt and it's got kind of a halter top kind of neckline, which we'll have to see. Sometimes they cut on me a little bit funny, but I really, really love this kind of teal with the big flowery pattern. I like that. I like that a lot actually. Ooh, I'm excited to give that a try. Also, I love the color of this second thing, this sort of eggplant color. Ooh, and I like this top. I love this detailing right here on the front is also on the back all the way down. Ooh, that is really pretty. I like that. Okay, we're gonna save this for last. This is the yellow top, not gonna lie. I really like it. I like the sort of delicate white flowers on there with the green um, leafing on there. Ooh, and I love yellow. I'm so far, I'm super stoked. I don't really know how I'm gonna feel about these sort of loungy pants. What, what is this? That's weird. Um, I do, oh, cause it's the back. I don't really know how I feel about these sort of capri style loungy pants, but let's be honest. I, do a lot of lounging. <laughs> no, I don't, that sounded bad. Um, I am at home all the time, so I don't often change out of my pajamas. That's what I meant. I'm not actually lounging the majority of the time. <laughs> and then we have this right here. This, is, ooh, these are earrings. Okay. All right, okay, so this is what they look like. I don't typically gravitate towards gold, but these are kind of fun. I love that they are small and dainty because A, I tend to wear on the normal day to day, I tend to wear smaller, daintier types of pieces when I wear anything at all. Um, but also the girls are less likely to try to rip these out of my ears. So very interested to see how much these are I actually. I really kind of like them. Look at them. Yeah, I really kind of like them. I'm curious to see how much they retail for. So, all right, you guys know the drill. We're gonna go ahead and we're going to flip the camera around and we're gonna try all of these on and see what we think of them on the body. Okay, so here we have the last two things that I pulled out of the box, at least clothing wise. So let's start with the pants. Surprisingly, I don't hate them. <laughs> I don't hate them. 
They are very, very, very soft. Um, they come to just above the ankle, but they have the little like, I don't know, it's kind of like a bungee cord sort of situation. So it's actually kind of cute. And they are very comfortable and they don't look awful on me. Like I actually like these a ton more than I thought that I would. Also, absolutely love this yellow top. I think that this is a very flattering cut. It's a flattering length. It comes down not too low in the back, but yeah, I actually really like this top quite a bit. And I think it, I think it works on me really, really well. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to try on the other two tops. I'm just gonna leave on these little loungy pants because why not? They're not gonna go very well together, but that's okay. I don't think y'all care. I don't care. I'm excited to try them on. All right, so this is the second top that I pulled out of the box. And again, I really like it. I like it a lot. I think the color is absolutely gorgeous. I think that it fits really, really nicely. It's again, a good length, covers my little tush without being too long. I love this detailing here and the neckline. I love the detailing on the back. I think it's really, really pretty. It does have a couple of buttons at the very, very top of the neckline, so this would actually be just a little bit tighter, but I can't get them buttoned myself and my husband is on a conference call, so we're just going as is, but I do, I do really like this. So yeah, good pick. Okay, so this is the first top that I pulled out of the box, and it's the one with the neckline that I feel least confident in. I just don't know if this kind of neckline flatters me very well. Um, also, you have to wear a strapless bra with it, which, let's be honest, for my other big chested gals, not our favorite thing, but I do really like the color and the pattern. It's just the neckline. Like, what do you guys think? Is it good? Is it not good? I don't know. It's out of my usual, so I don't know. But I do very much like the color and the pattern. Again, it falls in a really good length. It gets hot where I live, so this would be something that would be easy to, well, wouldn't be easy to wear because you have to wear a strapless bra, but again, it would be, I don't know. Tell me what you think. I want to know. Be honest. Is the neckline, is it good or is it bad? I'm not sure. What do you think? All right, here comes the hard part. Now we have to, now we have to talk about what we like to what we didn't like and how much everything costs to see what we're going to keep and what we're going to send back. So with Stitch Fix, to get the box into you, you pay a $20 styling fee and then you just pay for whatever you want to keep and then you put anything you don't want to in the pre-postage envelope and send that puppy on back. Now for anything that you keep, that styling fee is applied to the cost of the clothes and where they get fun with us is that if you decide to keep everything, you get a 25% discount off of your box. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at all of the nitty gritties. So they do send you kind of a styling guide, which is just, you know, what they recommend you pair some of these pieces with, but then they also send you the cost. So let's talk about everything and see, oh, it's not as bad as I was afraid of. Okay. All right, all right. so starting with this yellow top here, this is by Paper Moon. This is the Reese Mixed Material Top. It is a size large and it does retail for $38, which seems to be about the, around the least expensive side of what I typically get in these boxes. On the other hand, <laughs> this one right here, this beautiful, they call it burgundy. So this is by the company Daniel Rain. It is the Quinn Keyhole Crochet Top. They say that this is burgundy. In my opinion, it's got too much purple to be burgundy, but 
it doesn't matter what I think. Um, this is also a size large and it does retail for $64, which is expensive for me for a top. This is also by the company Paper Moon and it is the Samala Halter Knit Top. They call this mint, which I get it because it's got a mint background. It is a size large and it does retail for $38. The pants are by my favorite Stitch Fix company. These are Market and Spruce. They are the Flora Ankle Cinch pants, I guess. It got cut off. Actually, let's say on here. Hold on, hold on. The Plora Ankle Cinched Performance Pant. It is in the size large. The color is olive and it does retail for $58, which again, for me is expensive for loungy pants. With that being said, earlier I mentioned that I basically live in loungy pants. So even though that's expensive for loungy pants, they probably get the most amount of wear of everything in this box. As for the jewelry, this is by the company Kiva, and this is their five-piece earring set. Uh, they're calling this color peach, and it retails for $38. And again, this is what they look like, and they're, they're dainty and they're pretty, and they are something that I can see myself getting some good sort of daily wear out of. I'm not wearing any earrings right now, which um, usually I try to wear earrings for videos, but I do have two piercings. So with these being nice and small like this, um, they, I could definitely get some good usage out of them um, on a regular basis. So what that means is that with the total of everything is $236. However, if I keep everything, then that is a $59 discount, bringing it down to $177, less my styling fee would be $157 plus tax, which honestly isn't too terrible to be, to be very honest. But what we have to decide is if we want to keep everything and if it makes sense to send it back because here's the thing if I don't like just one item if that is less than $59 doesn't make any sense to not keep it so let's talk about my thoughts are they uh, expensive yes they are but as I said they would probably get the most amount of use of everything in not just this box, but any box I've gotten from Stitch Fix because of my current lifestyle. Um, I think honestly, I really like this top a lot. Um, I think the color is stunning. I think that the cut of it is really nice. I really enjoy the detailing. Uh, ooh, we are dry clean only. Ah, that is a problem because you know your girl does not make it out to the dry cleaners does not make it out to dry cleaners. Um, and then also I do really, really love this yellow top. And especially since if you caught my Amazon try on video, which if not, I will make sure to get it linked for you. I got a beautiful floral yellow top that did not fit very well. So I ended up sending it back. Uh, this I can wash on cold, so that's good. Um, so I ended up sending it back this is an excellent alternative and I do quite like it. So I think the one that I'm most on the fence about though is this one because I just don't know how I feel about this neckline on my personal body shape. So gosh, that makes it difficult because the one thing that I'm super duper on the fence about is that particular top which is only $38 and I say only because I'm comparing it to that discount. So. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. I don't know. As always, I'm going to talk it over with the hubs, see what his feelings are, what his thoughts are, and if he likes any of these pieces, or if he looks at me and says, Ashley, for real. Because that's happened. That's definitely happened a few times. 
Um, but yeah, so if you have wanted to try Stitch Fix, this is a great opportunity to get signed up with them. I have always talked very highly about Stitch Fix. I do have a link in the description box below if you want to get started. It is um, a link that would get you $25 off of your first styling fee, and then it also gives me a credit of $25. So if that's something you're comfortable with, thank you. If it's not, don't worry about it. Just go to Stitch Fix's website. You can get signed up there. They have tons of different promotional links. You don't have to use mine. Um, but it is something that I really love getting my Stitch Fix boxes every quarter because it's stuff that I didn't pick out for myself. And sometimes I've gotten some really off the or um, out of the box sort of things that I would never have picked up for myself, but that I really end up enjoying a lot. So let me know what do you think that I should keep and what do you think that I should send back. I always love talking to you guys in the comments. I love getting your opinion because it is so helpful for me. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you are having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.